My name is Tony Kiel. I'm from Cornucopia Restaurant and I am here today as part of Reuse Month to show you guys how you can use some common leftover ingredients in your kitchen. I'm vegan myself so these will be vegan recipes but they can be adopted of course if you wanted to add anything else to them and I will give suggestions as I go. One recipe is going to be a Caesar salad. The Caesar salad is going to be made from leftover bread, made from leftover lettuce and scallions and the ends of some condiments you might have in your fridge lying about the place. Now the reason I've chosen Caesar salad is because one of the most common waste that you find in your kitchen is actually lettuce. It's one of the main culprits. Loads of lettuce ends up in the bin. Also bread. Loads of bread. We buy so much bread. We buy bread for the week and we only really need it for a day or two. And I have some scallions. It was originally designed by a chef in Mexico, would you believe, in the 1920s. It became very popular all across the world. It's one of those classic salads. Now this is a slightly different version. I'm on a plant-based diet myself, so it's just going to be a vegan version. But uh, you can substitute what you want to make it suitable to your own needs or diet. So to start off, I'm going to take a ciabatta bread, just a couple of days old, and I'm going to half it down the centre. Just cubing it up. And you can break the bread up as well. It doesn't have to be, uh, doesn't have to be uniform. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to coat these in olive oil and a little bit of salt, and we're going to bake them in the oven, just for a few minutes. Bread in here. Olive oil in. Now this is an extra version of olive oil. Now I always, I always use olive oil when toasting, toasting bread. I just find it kind of adds a lovely kind of texture. I think sometimes if you use sunflower or rapeseed oil, the croutons don't come out quite as nice. Pinch of salt. And another ingredient, um, now this is optional. Now you can pick this up in uh, most supermarkets these days. These are nutritional yeast flakes. You know if you buy King Crisps or Cheesy Crisps and they say may contain milk or may contain cheese and they're actually, there's no milk or cheese in them. This is what they use, uh, yeast flakes. It's deactivated yeast and it's got a lovely cheesy flavour. So just sprinkle that. And again, this is, this is totally optional. Just adds a nice kind of, a nice backdrop to the croutons. Just give that a mix. Like so. Make sure they're nice and quite coated in oil. You want to make sure the bread is evenly coated as much as possible. If you have any blank patches in the bread, it doesn't come out quite as nice. You get that lovely golden colour from the olive oil. In fact, I believe in Italy, people refer to it as liquid gold. This is a, an extra version of olive oil I'm using now, as opposed to um, a regular. And then I'm going to pop these in the oven. Not for long, for literally seven or eight minutes. And I want to take them out of the oven before they go brown. I have my roasting tray, which is here. I'm going to pop these guys on and pop them in the oven. Seven or eight minutes, literally, and they're ready to go. Just make sure they're spread out apart. So you've got lots of room to erase and brown. Into the oven for seven or eight minutes. Pop them in now. Okay, so next I'm going to make um, an almond parmesan. Well, normally in Caesar salad, um, the main cheese people tend to use is a parmesan cheese, like a hard parmesan, a cow's cheese. But we're going to make a, um, a plant-based version today using up some um, almonds. About 50 grams. And I'm going to put in some more of those yeast flakes. These are lovely. Again, about a, one or two heaped tablespoons. And one more ingredient, and again, this is something you'll find in the supermarket, you might have it home in the store cupboard. Uh, it's miso, miso paste. It's totally optional, but it gives a lovely umami flavour. It's basically fermented soya bean paste, and what's great about this, this stuff will survive a nuclear war. It'll last for years. So there's about a, about a teaspoon there going in. And um, we're just going to zip this, just for a moment, in the Nutribullet. Now, if you don't have a Nutribullet at home, a coffee grinder will do, or even a mortar and pestle. Now, if you don't have a mortar and pestle, another idea, if you have the end of a rolling pin, and a round bowl, a round soup bowl, you can just drop the ingredients into the soup bowl and just bash them with the end of the pin. That'll break them up a little bit. And that's it. Almond parmesan. Very, very simple to make. Not quite the same as the real thing, but uh, not too far off. Now we're going to work on the lettuce. This is a romaine lettuce. Now a lot of people have iceberg lettuce, butterhead lettuce, lola rossa, different types of lettuce at home. And to be honest, you can use any lettuce in this. The same with the bread. It doesn't have to be ciabatta bread. I just went for fancy bread today. But you can really use anything. You could even use Brennan's white bread. Anything you'll have at home will work. It doesn't really matter. So the way I prepare this is I just simply top off the end here. I'm going to half lengthways. And I'm going to quarter lengthways. That separated all the leaves, just like that. Very simple. Now I'm going to rinse these. Before I rinse them, I'm going to add in some scallions. So I've got the scallions here, I've got a full set of scallions. We're only going to use part of the scallions in the base and we're going to use the other part of the dressing. So I'll cut off about maybe one quarter to one third of the greens at the end. I'll just put them aside for a few minutes and then we're going to chop up the rest and add to the salad. Be careful not to cut your fingers if you're using a sharp knife. So just uh, chop these up relatively fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. These add a lovely pungency to the salad. Scallions are a fantastic ingredient. Just to add depth to something even, you know. And again, this is one of those ingredients that uh, people tend to have languishing around their fridge for too long. And it's, uh, you can see the way it looked wilted there as well. The tops of the scallions were a bit wilted. Um, often people throw things like scallions and leeks in the bin way before their sell-by date. Or sometimes they just look at the sell-by date in the packet and think it's gone. But really have a, have a close examination, check the product, sift through it and just have a look. Because sometimes only 
only part of it might have gone a bit limp, part of it might be able to be cut off, it can still be used, and then the scallions are going to go in on top of the lettuce. So I'm going to bring these over to the sink and I'll give them a bit of a rinse. Give these a quick rinse in some water, just to take off any debris, and then back into the colander. I'm going to leave them to dry now for a few minutes. So I'll put them aside. For the next part, going to make our dressing. This dressing is pretty nice. This is a, a very, very quick mayonnaise. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys have made mayonnaise at home, the traditional way with egg yolks and with oil. This is a, another way of making mayonnaise, and here's all our bits. We're going to use the Nutribullet again. If you don't have a Nutribullet, and if you have one of those stick blenders, you can use that as well. A stick blender and a jug will be fine. Now the trick is, you want to add the oil at the end if you're doing that. But for the Nutribullet, we can add everything at once. So I have here some soya milk. It's important to use soya milk. Now regular milk won't work for this. It's the lecithin in the soya that's helping it to emulsify. So about 100 ml soy milk, a little bit of vinegar. Now, um, I like balsamic vinegar. I think you could use white wine, you can use cider, you can use red wine vinegar, even raspberry vinegar. We actually do it in, in Cornucopia restaurant, we do um, a, a raspberry vinegar for a mushroom beetroot salad. It's really nice. We use balsamic for this. And you can see now already the way it's beginning to curdle. There's a slight curdling happening there. That's because the vinegar is curdling the milk. Next in, we're gonna put a pinch of salt. Not too much, just a pinch. Now, a little bit of mustard. A bit of tablespoon of Dijon. Again, just kind of bringing the pungency up. One of the characteristics of this particular salad is its pungency. That's the base of our mayonnaise. Next thing we're going to add the oil. Now I'm using a rapeseed oil here. Uh, about 200 ml of rapeseed oil. Just pour it in. Pop the top on. Don't shake it. Just twist it on because it mightn't work. It's a finicky mayonnaise, like so. And voila, it's done. Mayonnaise. Okay, now a couple more ingredients. We're going to add some capers some kelp. This is optional. Traditionally in Caesar salad, Worcestershire sauce is the main ingredient. That's because there's anchovies in it. Now anchovies give that lovely fishy tang. Um, now as this is a vegan version, we're using kelp powder. Now kelp powder you can pick up in health food stores, some supermarkets, it's really easy to get. You can use any type of seaweed, nori, wakami, but kelp is quite nice. So I'd put, pinch that in. Last but not least, the greens from our scallions. Snip them in, just add a little bit of colour. Just roughly chops, that'll do. Lid back on. We're not going to blend this for too long because uh, these particular types of mayonnaise can be a bit finicky and they can split quite easily. So literally just in and out. That's our dressing. It's like tartar sauce. So I'm going to take my uh, bread from the oven. Great, here we are. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful, lovely golden croutons. It's exactly the way we want them. Nice and crunchy. So we're going to put them aside for a moment and now we're going to prepare our salad. This dressing actually makes enough for twice this quantity of salad. It's just, you can't really make a smaller quantity because it doesn't really work properly in the, the Nutribullet. So the half that you have left, you can use this lovely sandwich filler. You can use it for all sorts of stuff. Spread it in bread, mix it to potatoes even. You know, there's so much you can do with it. But I'm only gonna use half of this now, okay? Now this is nice and pungent. We have our lettuce leaves and our scallions. So we're gonna fold our leaves through carefully here. I've washed my hands, so it's important to get in here with your hands to give this a mix, just to get in nice and gently, just to move it through gently. Now don't squeeze or squash the leaves. Just literally fold the dressing through the leaves. You want a squishy salad. You want this to be nice and crunchy. And this is the kind of salad you don't leave sitting around for too long either. You wanna eat this within, I suppose within half an hour, an hour of making it. Oh, see some of the leaves are still there stuck together. And now I'm gonna take some of the croutons. I'm gonna take maybe half the croutons, mix half the croutons through the salad. And then I'm going to put the salad out onto a plate. Lovely plate here. Pop our salad on. I'm just going to roll the salad out onto a plate. Like so. This will serve three to four people. Chop the leaves a bit smaller. If you have different leaves, they're obviously going to be chopped differently as well. It doesn't really matter. Just the main thing is you're getting to use up all that waste. It's a great way as well. If you don't want to make the vegan mayonnaise and you have some Hellman's or anything lying around the fridge, even some salad cream or yogurt, you can also use that. It's a great way of using up those, you know, those little bits of condiments you have at the end of jars and tubs. We all have fridges full of them. I know I'm terrible for it myself. I love coming up with these kind of concoctions by using up some of that stuff you have lying around. And now we're just gonna add a couple of more things to this. The remaining few croutons. Just has that little, lovely little crunch. And if you leave this sit in the fridge for a while, the croutons kind of soak up some of the dressing. They take on a lovely quality. But I would say, eat this within the day. Don't leave it for too long. And I have here the almond parmesan from earlier. There's a lot of this, so you don't need too much of it. Just a sprinkle. Now a lot of people will serve Caesar salad with um, chicken, bacon, even sausages. You see all sorts of things on Caesar salad. Um, I've just brought along something I made myself at home. This is carrot bacon. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on there as well. Just, just to give a little, few little flavor bites. And you can use anything here. You can use bacon, you can use chicken, you can use, I'd favor tofu or smoked tofu if you can get your hands on it. And there we are. Voila, beautiful Caesar salad. 
vegan style. For more information really on any food reuse or any waste, go to mywaste.ie.